Um, I'm glad you found my video. I'm just your typical <laughs> hair in my mouth. Welcome to the channel. My name is Cassandra. I'm just your typical overweight, middle-aged working mom. I'm trying to be committed to spending as much time taking care of myself as I am to taking care of others. I've got some fitness and weight loss goals and I'm starting this YouTube channel for accountability and motivational purposes. This week, I'm filming everything I eat and all of my workouts and at the end of the week, we'll check the progress that I've made. I'm so happy you found this video. Let's get started. I'm saying let's go. But first, coffee. I like the Cafe Au Lait series K-Cups from HEB. And my favorite coffee creamer is the Coffee Mate French Vanilla. This morning, I also had a chocolate and peanut butter blast protein powder shake. That's from 1UP Nutrition. And it is super delicious. I mix the protein powder with about half a cup of Mutopia lactose-free milk and another half a cup of water. And then I completed my breakfast with about a fourth of a cup of this honey-flavored Greek yogurt, some granola, and then I cut up about half a banana to top that off. Lunch break. Okay, water check. One of my goals is to drink half a gallon of water per day. That is two of these water bottles that I got off Amazon that gives you, I don't know, some time stamps to help keep you going. So right now it is 11.35 and I'm about on schedule, maybe slightly behind. My water line is here just past 11 on the water bottle so I'm gonna check back in later let you know if I actually managed to drink two of these in a day lunch update I went to the grocery store to get a salad because I'm trying to stick to a calorie goal of about 1800 calories per day now I know some people when they're on a diet eat far fewer calories than that but I would rather eat some more calories and do some working out so that I don't feel like I'm starving and whittling away and dying. So I go to the grocery store and I get this chicken avocado ranch salad. It looks pretty good. I flip it over on the back and it's 450 calories for something that the first three ingredients are kale, broccoli, and radicchio. 450 calories. Why nature? You know what, it's not nature. I don't even know why I'm blaming nature. It's that man-made avocado ranch dressing. I bet that's where all the calories in this are. So I'm gonna put this in my fitness pal, which is what I'm using to track my calories. And we're gonna see if I can stick to my calorie goal today. So 450 calories for this salad. And then I also got, I don't even know if I'll like this, some red grapefruit um, slices in extra light syrup. And that is another 100 calories. Okay, I'm gonna go try to locate a plastic fork. Okay, I'm back in the car because I need to go drop something off at the UPS store, but I am going to have this Built Bar. This is a new flavor called Birthday Cake with Sprinkles. It has 140 calories and 17 grams of protein, and I'm gonna eat that as my snack. That way when I get back, I can come home and get dinner started and work out and then have dinner afterwards, and then I will check back in with you and let you know if I managed to stay under my calorie goal for today. On this night, I'm preparing a sheet pan meal. This is going to be Hawaiian chicken. So you chop up some large pieces of red onion, some bell pepper. You can add some fresh pineapple. On this evening, I add canned pineapple because that's what I had in my pantry. And then I used some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and then I covered that in barbecue sauce before I put it in the oven. And then a little bit later, I made some jasmine rice to go with this, and it was delicious. Let's find a disco. You're stuck at home being so lazy. Hey. Give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some energy Wanna come, wanna come, wanna come, wanna come 
session day three is so hard all the moves on those core sliders are insane what's deceiving is the first two workouts are one hour long but they're doable look I was feeling good about it today's workout was only 40 minutes long oh my gosh but we got to the end and after all of the hit and the jump roping and the core sliding moves then they want you to do all of the core slider moves back to back to back. I think she said it takes over three minutes. I have trouble like using the core sliders for 30 seconds, much less three minutes. And at one point, just for a few seconds, I felt a little nauseous. So then I had to start alternating the easiest core slider move, which is mountain climbers, and then rolling over and just doing crunches because I could not do all those core slider moves like they were doing back to back to back, but maybe one day maybe like on 80 day obsession round 16 or something, but maybe one day. Okay, so workout for today is done. Okay, tonight for dinner, I'm gonna call this Hawaiian chicken. This is really barbecued chicken thighs, some jasmine rice, and we've got some barbecued pineapple, bell pepper, and red onions. Okay, Tuesday wrap up. Goal number one, drink half a gallon of water, check. Goal number two, eat 1,800 or fewer calories. Did that. I think I've eaten about 1,700. I'll have to look it up on my fitness pal. And goal number three, workout. Did that too. 80 day obsession day three is in the books. And now the kids and the hubs are out there watching a movie together. And I am just gonna chill and relax. And since I got my water in, Gonna have a little diet root beer. See you in the morning. On Wednesday morning for breakfast, I had some oatmeal with a tablespoon of peanut butter and another tablespoon of chocolate chips to make peanut butter chocolate chip oatmeal. It tastes kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And of course, I had my coffee per usual. There's no fire when I smoke, I ain't letting you go I can see you buzzing like you can't say no There's no fire when I smoke, I ain't letting you go Go, 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 go Come on, let yourself be free Be the best that you can be Come move your body, come move your body Only settle for the best Live your life with no regrets Come move your body, come move your body You 
Tuesday morning, I have my water with me. I have brought my coffee to go. I've had some peanut butter chocolate chip oatmeal for breakfast. I am taking a Built Bar with me to work as a snack today. This is the salted caramel flavor. Yesterday, I tried the new birthday cake with sprinkles. It was okay. It wasn't one of my favorite ones. Built Bar has some really good flavors. That just wasn't one of my favorite ones. Um, today for lunch is catered at work and we're having barbecue. So the trick will be estimating my portions so I can estimate my calories. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it's Wednesday at about 4 p.m. I am leaving school. I do not have any footage of what I ate for lunch because um, we had an end of the year celebration for our campus, which was catered, and we had barbecued chicken and what do you call beef that's cut in strips? Brisket. We had barbecued brisket, um, potato salad, beans, like pinto beans, and also banana pudding. And now this was very hard to guesstimate the calories, but I put it in my fitness pal. So um, I know it was a lot of calories, even on my guesstimate. Since I had the whole chicken leg quarter, I guesstimated that the thigh part was four ounces and that the leg was two more ounces. So for a total of six ounces, but that could be way off, even though I, I chose one of the smaller leg quarters. Um, and then again, I had to guesstimate how much potato salad I ate and things like that. And on the banana pudding, I did take the cookies off, but the pudding was very thick and very rich and very delicious. So it's probably very calorie dense. So I chose a calorie dense banana pudding that I could find in the MyFitnessPal app. So I don't think I have a lot of calories left today if I'm going to stick to my 1800 calorie goal. And the other thing is yesterday by now, I'd already finished one of these bottles and started on the second one and was, well, not about, a th I was about a third of the way done with it. But today I've, I have like one sip left in this bottle. And so I'm about three hours behind. So I have got to get on it. All right, another update later. day of session day four triple a that's arms abs 
and a double dollar signs is in the book. It's a 49 minute workout, but the first round felt like it took 490 minutes. It was like the workout that would not end today. And the core slider moves, there were only two or three of those today, but I really struggled with those. Like I could not do those moves. It was just fail, fail, fail on the core sliders. Even though I tried it on the wood floor, I tried it on the carpet. It just wasn't happening <laughs> with those core sliders today, but I got everything else done. And now I've got to figure out what to eat for dinner because I've cooked food for the family, but I'm short on calories because of the catered lunch we had at work was very calorie dense. So I don't know. I may be having a bowl of cereal for dinner if I want to make my calorie goal. And water check. Oh, let's see. I am at about 6.30 p.m. And in real time, oh, my watch went dead. In real time, it's 8 p.m. But I think I'm going to be able to knock it out. That's it. Okay, Wednesday night check-in. I drank my half gallon of water. I worked out, even though it was the longest workout of all time, it felt like. And to come in close to my calorie goals, instead of eating the Mary Me chicken and mashed potatoes with the rest of the family, I ate a bowl of Cheerios with half a cup of milk and half a banana. And my goal is about 1,800 calories a day, and I came in at 1,866. So I'm going to take it and say that I got all three checks. microwave it because it's in microwave um, and so that's what I had for breakfast um, 3 p.m. update I've hardly drank any of my water today and I have no idea how many calories I consumed at lunch because since it was the final teacher work day of the school year I went with some co-workers to a local Mexican restaurant it's not a chain so it doesn't have nutrition information on their website so I'm gonna have to guesstimate my calories on a half order of beef fajita nachos. Okay. Lunch. The beef fajita nachos from the local Mexican restaurant. In my fitness pal, I put on beef fajita nachos and I picked the fajita nachos from another restaurant. That's the best I can do. I can't guarantee that the calories are exactly the same because I don't know what the toppings were on those nachos versus the nachos that I had. The nachos that I had had the beef fajita meat, refried beans, sour cream, and guac on there. So they're pretty calorie dense. But I got the half order, not the full order, so that's what I chose on the app. Okay, so I put that in, and that only left me with a couple of hundred calories. But um, I've already fallen asleep on the bed just trying to watch TV. I lasted like 10 minutes. It's raining and dreary outside. It's nearing the end of the week, so I'm pretty tired. Um, so I've just decided to have a protein shake for dinner. This is what's left of that. Um, one, because it's low in calories, and I don't have that many calories left for today. As a matter of fact, I went ahead and put the protein shake in my fitness pal, and that left me with like 17 calories for the day. So I'm going to call it done. Coming in right under 1,800 calories if... 
the beef fajita nacho estimation. Anyways, what was I saying? I think I've come out of my calorie goal. I'm not working out today. Um, the water though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, you know, since there is no school tomorrow, I could stay up late and maybe get this done. But the water situation is not looking good today, so that's probably going to be a fail. eyes I can't be and he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time all the time and my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that oh his smile is killing me it's the way that it moves and the way that I laugh so I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off back to the top to do it all over again 80 day obsession day five leg day is done i am having a leisurely friday so i didn't get up until 8 30 then i made some coffee and then i watched youtube videos for about an hour and a half so i started my workout around 11 oh let me hit stop on my workout 47 minutes and just under 400 calories burned. The workout was about really 45-ish minutes. I did not fill up my water bottle until 11 when I was gonna work out, but just during that workout, I drank from 8 a.m. all the way down to 1 p.m. So I only have like this much to go and I'm gonna be done with the first 32 ounces. So I don't think 64 ounces is gonna be a problem today like it was yesterday. So that's good. Um, so now I'm gonna go eat and drink my BCAAs and finish off this first um, jug of water and refill it to the second jug. And then I'm going to shower and get dressed for the day, even though it's, you know, lunchtime. For brunch on Friday, I had a grilled chicken breast with some roasted broccoli and green beans. And then I poured some jalapeno ranch on top of that. All right, a stop at HEB resulted in a Java Man coffee. This is a 16 ounce hazelnut mocha, and it is delicious. For the last few months, I've really been into Fabletics, and I've accumulated quite a few leggings and some bike shorts and lots of sports bras, but you can't dry them in the dryer after you wash them, so you can often find them hanging on the backs of chairs and all over the treadmill at my house. Am I the only one? I don't care what we do, everything's really new. Even if we're staying bad. I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him na 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 na. I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it bright.
exciting news, kind of related to my weight loss goals, kind of not, or yes in a roundabout way. So next week our kitchen is getting updated. We're getting quartz countertops, a backsplash, the cabinets are getting painted, white uppers, uh, grayish lowers. We're adding a crown molding to the cabinets, but in any case, they're wrapping the refrigerator and the stove while they paint the cabinets. So the refrigerator and the stove is gonna be out of commission for a couple of days, which means we're probably going to be eating out quite a bit next week. So next week's video may be a, can I eat out every day of the week and still lose weight video? Kinda gonna make that a challenge for myself possibly. Anyways, the chrome molding guy is actually coming tomorrow, which is Saturday, just to go ahead and add that before the rest of the crew comes out on Monday to get started. So I'm pretty excited about that. But back to making spaghetti. On this night for dinner, we had some gluten-free spaghetti with Rayo's marinara sauce. I really love the flavor of Rayo's, even though it's a bit more expensive. Um, I made the girls some broccoli with cheese sauce, but I had my pasta with a side of salad that was mostly greens, parmesan, and some carrot sticks. Dinner was delicious. I had spaghetti with meat sauce with a salad on the side and a Diet Dr. Pepper because I finished my water today. So my water goal gets a check, workout, check, calorie goal, check. I think I still have 150 calories left. Yeah. I do. So all in all, good day. Okay, it's Saturday morning at about 9.30. I haven't eaten yet. I've been in bed editing. And actually, tell me if this is gross. It's probably gross. I'm going to eat in bed because um, our kitchen upgrade starts today. The only thing getting done today is the crown molding, but the crown molding guy is working in the kitchen. And all of our stuff from our countertops is on our table. So while I'm editing, I'm going to have some gluten-free crackers, some pepperoni slices, and some cheese cubes, and I'm going to call that breakfast. Okay, I'm on the road, not for a happy occasion. I'm going to a funeral. Um, I'm trying to find fast food that's also gluten-free food. That's tricky. So I've stopped at Sonic. I've got a breakfast toaster sandwich and I'm going to take off the Texas toast, which those are huge pieces of toast and I think they're slathered in butter or oil or something. So fortunately that's going to save me a couple hundred calories. I'm pretty sure on the bread alone, but I'm just going to eat the sausage and egg off of that. And then I'm going to have the tater tots with it and also a diet Dr. Pepper. Okay. So there is the toast in the bag. And here is the slab of egg and sausage. Um, the cheese pretty much went with the toast. Yay me. Today is a fail on water, calories, and working out. I'm not surprised I didn't get a workout in because I drove an hour to a funeral for an aunt that had passed away. And post-funeral, I stayed for several hours catching up with relatives that I hadn't seen in years and I had a grand time doing that. Then by the time I left hours and hours later, I was starving, so then I made a poor nutritional. Is it poor nutritional or poor diet? decision, a poor lifestyle choice, I don't know. But I ate freed birds nachos, so there's that. So that's probably a thousand calories. And I had already hit the 1800 calories, so I just was not on point today. But tomorrow morning I'm going to weigh in and that will close up this video. Next week I'm going to do a challenge, can I eat out every day and still lose weight? If today was any indication, the answer will probably be no but I'm gonna try harder next week when it comes to eating out and controlling my portions and making smarter decisions because our kitchen is getting updated and it's pretty much going to be out of commission for a large part of the week. So, see you then. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe. See you next week.